In this video, we're going to walk through the EasySense 2 software and show you how to connect your smart wireless Bluetooth device using either USB or wirelessly via Bluetooth. At the time of this recording, we're using version 1.0.15. To find the version of your EasySense 2 software, simply go to the settings button and look for the version information, version 1.0.15. To close this dialog box, simply click on the cross. Before we go into connecting your device via USB or Bluetooth, I first want to explain the difference between a device and a sensor. Typically, we would call each device by its type of sensor, such as a temperature sensor or a thermocouple sensor or a pressure sensor, for instance. Some devices only have one sensor, whilst others have more than one sensor integrated into the device. For instance, the temperature sensor is a device that only has one sensor that measures temperature, whereas a voltage current sensor has two sensors where it will measure voltage and current simultaneously. Some devices will have one sensor and some devices may have multiple sensors. When you first launch the EasySense 2 software, you will notice a Devices button on the top left-hand corner of the EasySense 2 software. When you click this button, it will show all of the available devices in your local environment. In this instance, I have four devices available. A voltage current sensor, thermocouple, temperature and pressure. In some cases, you may have a large number of devices available. Within the EasySense 2 software, we can easily filter all of the available devices. If I wanted to filter the list by the unique ID number of the sensor that I may wish to connect to, I can simply type in the unique ID number into the EasySense 2 software to filter the list, such as 334, which is now only showing the thermocouple. To clear the filter, simply click on the cross. Connecting your device to the EasySense 2 software is a very simple process. If your device is available in the list, simply click on the connect button to connect that device. I'm going to click on the temperature sensor to connect that device. Now you will be able to see the sensor is connected to the EasySense 2 software. You may also notice that on the device, the sensor is flashing green, which will indicate that a connection has been made. You can continue to connect other sensors at the same time. For instance, let's connect the voltage current sensor. Now you can see the voltage current sensor is also available in the connected section. As previously mentioned about devices and their number of internal sensors, we can see here that the temperature sensor has one internal sensor and the voltage current has two internal sensors. You can disable and enable these sensors as you wish, simply by clicking on the slider to the left of the sensor's name. To disconnect a sensor, simply click on the disconnect button. Now that sensor will return to the pool of available devices. To connect a sensor to the EasySense 2 software by USB, plug in the USB lead into the device and the EasySense software will automatically connect. You may also notice when devices are connected to the EasySense 2 software that the devices icon will show green. Within the devices panel, you will see a Bluetooth icon, which means that this sensor is connected via Bluetooth. Or you will see a USB icon that means this sensor is connected directly via USB. To begin recording data with the EasySense 2 software is a very simple process. Simply connect your device by clicking on the devices icon. Select your device from the list of available devices. In this instance, we will click on temperature. Once connected, all you now need to do is click the start button to begin your experiment. The devices panel will close automatically. The EasySense 2 software is now recording data. To stop recording, simply press the stop button. And that's it. If you have any further questions about our smart wireless Bluetooth sensors or need any technical support in using them, 
then please feel free to visit our website at www.data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.